Hey, good. <laughs> What's up, Samsung? How are you tonight? <laughs> Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. How what about everything? you? Everything's no, going all right. Happy because tomorrow we're going to play El Facito versus. Oh, yeah. I, there's a match yeah. tomorrow, right? Uh, tomorrow we're going to be. Is the se semi final? Yes. It's the second match. If El Facito win the match, they are going to, to fight the, the finally. The final, the final match, yeah. The final. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's going to be nice because um, and, and, and fast have to be win this cup. Fast must win this cup. Must win. Who, yes. Who's who's he playing against? Tomorrow. I mean, yeah, and if he goes to the finals, it's going to be the. Opponent. Um, could be um, Platense or Hokoro. But Hokoro lost the last time versus versus Platense. To, to zero. Platense. Yeah. What, what is that? Have you have you heard about Platense? I never heard about Platense. <laughs> hey, what's up, teacher? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, let me let me see. De donde es el Platense? Zacatecoluca, teacher. Oh, but they're not famous, I guess. No, not really, but the last, um, how do you say, temporada, journal? Last season? Yes, last season. They they lost the final, the final with Alianza, I guess. Me just one second. Okay, sorry guys, I was just texting one of your classmates. Um, if you ever find yourself with trouble, you know, like you're having problems with your connection through Zoom or there's something going on with your app, you can contact our, our technical support team and they can help you re, uh, like correcting these problems, just so you know. Okay, thank you for joining us. Anaselmi, uh, Edwin, um, Kenya, Walter, Nelson. Good evening, teacher. Here comes at Patricia too. Okay. It's good to have you back. Today is Friday. We are 10 already. Let's do the attendance so we can start having a conversation. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. And please turn on your camera. Everybody, everybody, cameras, cameras. Oh, well, she's connecting, but she's here. Okay. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Not yet. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Teacher, present. What? <laughs> yeah, La Patricia, you got it. I, I got you. And Gloria is coming too. I got Gloria too. Hi, yeah, Glorita. Yeah. Hi, Glorita. I got you. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She's still connecting. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Not yet. Here, here she comes. And Gabriela is joining us as well right now. There is Gabriela and there's Roselena too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Sandra has been absent for a while. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Give me just a minute. Hi. I think you're not a listener anymore, Susana. It's okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. <laughs> Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Last night, we were talking about ethics at work. Still, we were talking about different situations. We actually end up the class giving some examples about uh, ethics at work, how this affects in a positive manner and a negative manner in your job. Well, and so. you were kind of given... <laughs> giving some examples on, on what is an example of bad practices, you know, things that could happen that are unethical at work and what could you do to resolve them? But we didn't finish with Kenya. She was talking about harassment at work. And I think she mentioned a, sol a solution. What was the solution that Car Kenya mentioned uh, yesterday? Let's see who remembers. What was the solution that Kenya gave to her problem? That she Give me a second because I don't remember. No, no, not you, not not you. <laughs> oh, Some, okay. Someone else, someone else. I, I I watched the video, that part of the video right now, and and I I noticed all of you were paying attention. So come on, what was Kenya's solution to harassment? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. She mentioned going to HR. I'm sorry, Kenny. I understood mm -hmm. that the solution was the related to training to the employees. Kind of. I think she mentioned HR going to human mm -hmm. resources, right? It's, and and spread the word speaking, about speaking, yes about what it is because actually believe it or not a lot of employees are not aware of what is sexual harassment even new, new kids new kids ah, this generation this last generation is is really in trouble in so many ways i know teacher i know what do you think about um our culture getting lost and the, the, the lust of ethical practices at work. Because we are called, we are called many things, you know, new new generations are calling us like ordinary or legacy employees because of because of our good practices, because in the end, dressing properly, addressing others in a good manner, in a professional manner. It, nowadays is is getting lost. So, have you seen anybody at work, any teenager at work, misbehaving, in this sense? No, you don't have that problem. Well, and certainly because of your your line of business, right? Yeah, but not teenager teacher. In my case, um, the they are younger, like younger adult because he's the young adults, in, young adults. Yes, young like, adults like me. He, yes, hmm? like <laughs> like you teacher. <laughs> you know, I always consider myself a young adult, maybe Rosalena too. I don't know, but has this ever happened to you? You were like 20. Yes, between 20, 20, between 20 yeah, and 30 yes. and listening to very old music, you know, you don't like new new music, you like the, old. The, the old soul, teacher. An old soul, that's right. <laughs> no, in my case, teacher, uh, the youngest employees mm -hmm. are the, the university students, the, the last level. 
Oh, the ones uh, that are doing their internship. Yes. They're, they're doing yes. their internship. Yes, we have the program, the internship. That's awesome. Yeah. I guess yeah. You, you stay with some of them, right, at the end? I'm sorry, teacher. I guess you choose some of them yeah. to continue working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but our profile is particular, is particular teacher. It's very because... demanding? No. no, not demanding, but it's very special because it requires a lot of formal, um, formal, Knowledge? Uh, not only knowledge that the um, behavior too. Behavior too. So ethics are part of your profile. Yes, because um, uh, because we work um, related to the, the out laws. Yes. I yeah. think you're you're looking for people with experience, actually. Right. So. Yeah, but it's not um, a lot of demanding teacher. It's not very demanding. Okay. It's not very demanding in this moment now, teacher, because now it is more attractive for the young people, mm -hmm. the other type of work, the call center, for example. And you know what? That's something else. Um, what do you think about someone who graduated as a doctor, not working as a doctor, but working at a call center? Because regarding regarding it's, ethics, regarding it's ethics. It's possible the career is part of the dream, not for, for their self. Maybe it's possible the dream is the, for the parents <laughs> to the, the career. <laughs> Do you mean their parents are paying for their studies and then? Yeah, exactly. But it, it, in my opinion, it's not good because mm -hmm. each person must study the what they want. Yes. What they love. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, regarding ethics, guys, is it ethical for you to study something and then? not work yeah, in that, that is, field it's possible that in a specific time you know that it's not career for you it's possible you mean there's no work available for you okay yes it's possible to teacher <laughs> edwin <laughs> good evening what did you used to dream of what did you want to be when you were younger uh, uh, to be honest, I would like to be a police officer. You wanted to? Yes, that was one of my dreams. What happened? Uh, the delinquency was very worse back of years, you know. So my family always uh, recommending me or giving me an advice um, to to do to, to not go to the academy or or, or things like that but, but to be honest it was one of my dreams i, I come a, a police officers but one and become ones those who has a, a rp i don't i don't remember but those who are those uh who are the uh like R, rp something like that mm -hmm. Oh, the, the, wait, wait, what are we talking about? The kind of officer? SWAT. SWAT. Yes, because SWAT. Uh -huh. Oh, because SWAT. Uh -huh. Oh, like special tactics, you mean? Exactly. Not just become a, a police officer, just like that. I would like to be more than that. You so. know what? Yeah, yeah, that's a great dream, actually. Um, yesterday, I went to to... I went to, how do you call this place? Wait a minute. Uh, after Multiplaza, La Gran Vía, right? I went to La Gran Vía yesterday to buy a gift for someone because it's her birthday very soon. So 
the thing okay. is that the thing is that I was with my kids around the fountain, the water fountain. Yes, and, in the mirror. Uh huh. And there were like 10, 10 students with their uniform from the military school. And they were they were fooling, listen, they were fooling to one of their co their classmates. <laughs> and they throw him on the fountain. They pushed him inside the fountain. And yeah. th this guy came out of the fountain laughing and everything. And they were they were playing, man. They were they looked so happy. Then I turned to my 13 years old, well, yeah, my 13 year old Christopher. And I told him because he, he was looking right like like this, this face. And I was like, that's happiness. That right there is happiness. And I hope you get it. I hope you you, you pursue that, you know, having friends, having fun with your friends. And maybe after school, you know, instead of going to the university, maybe you may want to go to the ANEP, you know, just to experience discipline because, you know, a military career it's very demanding that that's very demanding in the terms of ethics morale and discipline i mean it's like really strong but i love that 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 picture you know of these kids playing i remember when i was a kid and used to play with my friends i mean i was very emotive actually so that's a great point you know what did you want to be you know really quick these are the, the questions that we're about to answer, and they are related to ethics in one sense, very important sense, which is your, your morale, your principles, your values are very important as a child. Um, if they made you dream, if your parents made you dream, then you may be a dreamer now. You may have accomplished some career goals. For example, me. I wanted to be, as a child, I wanted to be a lawyer, but I don't know why. I still don't get the reason why I wanted to be a lawyer. I mean, nobody was a lawyer in my family. Now, interesting fact is when they did the study, you know, when you were in school, they do a study on the last years of high school to determine what you're good for, right? It's like a feasibility study <laughs> on yourself. <laughs> And the third or fifth option was to be a teacher. Okay, that was my last option of, of the results. My first option was to be a lawyer. So, and my third option was to be an engineer, something like that. So I started engineering. I didn't like physics. I didn't like math too. I hate it. And then I moved to international relations or foreign affairs. I loved it. I mean, I loved international affairs. That was like, wow, amazing. But then at the same time, I started to become a teacher and I loved it even more because in the end, the point was helping others. You know, that's all, that's all. And, and I love it. I mean, so I could say I made it. I made it. I made my, my dream come true by becoming a teacher. I love what I do. And that's it. I mean, I did realize, I, I did achieve the goal of becoming a teacher. Now, something very important, and, and I want to hear from you on this example, this first dynamic. Tell me what moved you to become who you are. Now, this is very important. What moved you to become who you are? When I was a manager and I had like 17 uh, teachers um, under my control, let's say, I was in charge of 17 teachers. One of them, one of them was like 21 years old. He was 21 years old. This guy was hyper, extremely hyper. He used to teach like this. Okay, ready? Okay, let's see, Susana. Come on, Susana. Go ahead, Susana. You can do it. Come on, Susana. Repeat, repeat with me. Look, 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 Susana. Great job, Susana. Great job. Gabriela, Gabriela, smile. Come on, Gabriela. That's the way. Now, repeat. Man, and all the time he was like, so we 
put a nickname on him. We named him Clappy. Clappy. <laughs> but the guy was so hyper, so creative. And he was close. He was very close to be a, a copy of me. And you know what happened? He saw me. He saw me teaching and he was good. Listen to this. He was good at mimicking, mimicking people. So he adapted my way of teaching. Now I started studying him, studying him. What is he doing? Why is he doing this, right? And I stopped him one day and I asked him, why did you become a teacher? Why do you want to become a teacher? He said, I just like it. I don't know. And I started asking him, what does your father do? And he said, oh, my father is a doctor. A doctor? And I was like, nothing to do with that, right? He's a surgeon. A surgeon? Really? A Salvadorian surgeon? Yeah. He's very, very important in the country. Oh, really? Yeah. How's your relationship with your father? And he said, you know, when I was a kid, my father used to take me to his conferences. Uh, and I was like, okay, a conference? So he was, um, you know, a speechman in front of a multitude, in front of a lot of people. Yeah. And where, where were you when your father was doing this, you know, moving his hands, making people laugh, explaining things? I wasn't right in front. I was always in front of him, watching him doing these things, explaining to, to people. I was like, and then guess what? He started crying. A 21-year-old man crying. I was like, what's wrong with you, man? I became a teacher because I saw my dad doing this and making people laugh. And he used to clap. <laughs> so I was like, no, yeah. So I mimic him. So it makes sense. And then I realized that my uncle, rest in peace, he was very good at explaining to poor people different things. And I saw him as well doing this, speaking to, to a lot of people. And I used to love watching the, the, the people like, and taking notes, paying attention, did apply. I mean, so there is something that moved you to become something now that you're an adult. What was it? If you don't know, if you don't know, don't worry, just think about it. Try to understand yourself. This is very important in your life. Talking about ethics, realize, realize who you are. Rosalind is like, ah, oh my God, I'm like, right now, why should I think who am I? I know who I am. Good. But Gabriel, let me go like, how did you mention it? I don't know who I am. I mean, am I, am I okay? Am I happy with this job? Am I happy with my career level? So think about it. But for now, for now, don't get emotional. Please don't get emotional. This is really difficult. But if you make it, because I made it five years ago, five years ago, I was able to, to step foot, you know, like stand on my feet and say, I am Rafael Rodriguez. I love teaching. I didn't know. I knew I was not organized. I was not disciplined. And I started changing things. So this is very important. Let's do a little introspection of yourself. Number one, what did you do? want to be as a child did you make it if not why what stopped you now if you know what moved you to become who you are okay now let's go to the negative side i wanted to be uh i wanted to be a fireman what yeah i didn't make it why oh because i became a father now I have 10 children, you know, and yeah, I couldn't be a fireman, right? It's not enough money for 10 kids, right? I don't know. You tell me, okay? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's go <laughs> in small groups. Please talk to your classmates. Les ruego que nadie se quede acá. Traten de cooperar con sus compañeros y no dejarlos solos, okay? So let's go right now. Let's go. 
It's just a conversation. I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good too. Excellent. Okay. The question number one is what did you want to be as a child? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Me, for example, sorry. Uh, Hello. When I was a child, I I remember that I want to be a dentist. Um, but I don't know what happened, and, and now I is I when uh, two years ago I graduated for a uh, logistic engineer. So it, I don't know, <laughs> I, I want to be a dentist. Okay. Okay, I, it's, it's so different career. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. I as, uh, feel I wanted to be a doctor. But I am afraid uh, of uh, sangre. Neither. Blood. Uh, blood. I, blood. I think it's. Ah, no, perdón, las agujas. Yeah, las agujas. needles, oh. needles. Needles. Yeah, needles. You got and, it. Yeah. <laughs> and I did <laughs> not alone um, to. No lo logré. No lo logré. I didn't make it. I did, I didn't make it. I could I could couldn't I couldn't get over to my fear. My fear. I couldn't overcome my fear. Overcome. Oh. Superar. Mm -hmm. I couldn't overcome my fear. Okay. okay. Good job, Gloria. Couldn't. I couldn't overcome my, my fear. fear. Perfect. And you, Wendy? Well, when uh, I to be uh, a little child, I I want to uh, be a doctor too. But uh, <laughs> when I I grow up, when I um, yeah grow up. I may I think that the don't have um, more money <laughs> and uh, I need to work and but I study psychology and I love my career too I I don't know uh, I am not a doctor but I love my career psychology you said me in my case when I was child I want to be a doctor too when um, I was a, when I was a child when I was a child when I was a child yes when I was a child mm -hmm. I want to be I want it I wanted to be wanted to be I want to be um, doctor a doctor. Doctor. Yeah. A doctor. <laughs> yeah. But, but why? My, why? Because in, in my opinion, it's a profession very. You practice a lot of compassion. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you watch Pat Patch Adams, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> conviction. For me, it's very important the conviction, the in in the in a specific that career. Yeah. But um, in my case, our economic condition it was not good, and I got a scholarship for the university, and my scholarship. I have the opportunity to, to study medicine through the scholarship, but my decision, the, the, the main factor for decision was the center, things like that, um, because I want to be more than that. So. I would say that my dream um, right now, it's being a teacher, but not a veterinarian anymore. I don't want to be that. <laughs> yeah. after, after seeing this guy teaching us, I mean, I'm like, nah, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I think it's, um, I haven't still get what I want and I'm on the way, you know, to, be a teacher and I just need to go to university and get all the dreams that I want for my future. And yes, I think that's all. <laughs> what about you, Carla? Okay. Mm. As a shield, I will have like to be a doctor, but what's my foster dream? <laughs> because uh, my mom no, not a con with a uh, money for payment my my university. Then I was study to re public relation because it was it was my second option. But in this career, I saw that is a career, uh, but. Uh, bad payment with bad payment because the salary is low and this little uh, point uh, uh, th that uh, was that um thing in a study and, and another career then i start to study um uh, business administration and uh, because it's a career where i where where i have a uh, a many option for for you and in all i like i like the, this this career and i work uh, in in the area and then my my future games for i play for games uh, sometimes in weekends and sometimes i play at uh monday too but You're with my teacher. brothers because all my brothers play soccer too so that's a, that's a great day that you do you want to become a coach? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, do, do, why and uh, what do you do right now? Excuse me? And what do you do? What is your work about? What do you do? Uh, in, what in... do you do in your work? Oh, my God. And my work is. Uh assistant department and then assistant department elaborate on a template different option and using the program design really yes it, you a, like to do that ah yes for me yes it's a, your, your dream was to become a coach ah yes oh my god yes <laughs> <laughs> oh Ah, one day. Oh, yes. Hello, Adriana. Not coming. 
Ok. Um, and then a question. And Edwin is, a, what do you want to be a children the age of making? Making. If not, why? We already answered those questions. What was the another one? I don't oh, remember. Yeah. You have the another questions? It's a, what, what movie you do become who you are? Uh, what move you to become who you are? Oh, I already asked you this question. What move <laughs> you to become who you are? Well, in my case, actually, um, uh, it's it's nice to work uh, with uh, rich people because uh, I I always I always bring about to become a, a police officer, especially those who has a, a higher rango. Oh, uh, what I move, something that I move you, me to become a, what I, who I, who I am right now, is because uh, you you receive the support to these people. Every time that I need something, or if my daughter like that's this last back of days, my daughter was very sick. You you couldn't imagine how sick she was, and um, they helped me to pay because. We, we took her to the Seguro Social, but they we don't receive any attention. Seguro Social is very bad right now. So they 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 do some exams, but they don't discover nothing. They told us that they they, they doesn't have nothing, but she has temperatures every day, almost 38, 39. And we were with me and my wife very worried about this situation. And you know what? I talked to my boss and, and and they say, you know what? I took her to to the hospital, uh, la mujer. They do some exams and and they discover what they have them, what the, they have, what what does they, she have? Um, but that's what I would like to uh, to work with these people because I they always support me in everything that I'm. I do, and, and, and if I need something to, you know, uh, they help me for for everything. And, and the work, it's very, it's, it's not it's not even demanding. It's very nice. I I travel everywhere around the country, and I, I do a, a, a lot of activities. I I am involved in association. We help people. We really help people and it's very satisfactory helping people. You know what? This Christmas, we're going to join uh, one 500 toys for children of the street. And we're going to uh, make parties to those, to those children to make their this Christmas uh, for them happiness, to live happiness. So those reasons are moving to become who I am right now. But if we talk about what I'm doing, what, what I, uh, if we talk about my dream when I, when I was a child, it's to become a, a police officer. Okay. In my opinion, and I didn't, and when we get all we I take your responsibilities. Mm -hmm. um, for the moments, and I had a lot of responsibility. Responsibility in my house, in my life. You and had children? And one. One, one son. I'm sorry? Did yes. You, do you have a, a girl or a boy? Boy. Have a boy. And yes, and responsibility. Yes. Is, uh, uh, for, for me, and I thank you for the company, for, for and they given the opportunity for me, uh, a position, mm -hmm. a position. We can support them. No, no, like in, in all times when only dad works, my mom doesn't okay. work. Only my father 
works and he he pay everything but nowadays when there are mom and dad your the kids uh, it's more it's easily to them only study it's easier, <laughs> easier for them it's easier. it's easier for them to study just and to not study. to work yeah just study and not work because we can afford we can afford we, we can pay the, the career Yes, I think mm. so. Yes. Adriana, how about you? Hello, hi. Hello. Are you? I don't see you, Adriana. I'm sorry. What? I don't see you in the group. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. In this I moment, I connect. You arrive in this moment. <laughs> You get into the perfume in this moment. Okay, what do you want to be uh, as a child, Adriana? What do you want to be when you was a child? When you were. When you were a child. Mm, you see. Okay, when you was a child, when you, you was were. a child, when you were a child. And it, what's the meaning, child? Child. Children. Child. Children? Ah, children. Uh -huh. yes. When you were a child. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you were a child, you dream about something like about you. Maybe you want to be a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer. Mm. Um, I was child. Uh, I was child. Um, I went and be no. <laughs> How do you say you want? Uh -huh. You want to be? You want? I, wanted I to want be. to be. Uh -huh. I, I want to be. I want to be. be. Uh -huh. I want to be <laughs> um, teacher and it. Teacher or no only teacher. I yeah. I play at teacher with my sister. You play all, like all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you play that mm -hmm. you you were a teacher. Oh, and why can't, I like and why what happened? What what you can't realize your dream? What happened? And uh, uh, I really um, <laughs> um okay i like uh, i like i like math math and physical 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 yeah physical okay and um, in this moment and uh, i interesting a engineer. Ah, you study. Um, you study. Yes. Uh, like, ah, you study. Mm -hmm. uh, engineer at the university. Yes, industrial oh, engineer. Uh -huh. ah, industrial imagine. engineering. Uh -huh. I I I want a more, uh -huh, because I study engineer. Uh huh. I like a. Yeah. Uh, Teach. I, I like, like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you can no. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Teacher, well, very sweet. Yes. <laughs> okay. What, what about you, and Rosalina? Oh, I want to be a bio biology biologist. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. I wanted. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. 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 I bit. wanted to be a biologist. Yeah, biologist. Biologist. Yes. Okay, let's go.
Okay, let's just wait a little bit for your classmates to show up. We are excited about talking about <laughs> this topic. I'll yes, make it, it I'll... was very nostalgic, like Susana mm -hmm. says. <laughs> I remember my dad. He used to encourage you? Sometimes. What did I you don't like this topic. I don't like this topic. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't like it. It's too emotional. Yes, for me, for me, for me, yes. Ah, uh, but that's it's normal. Okay. That's normal, doesn't it? We just have to accept things mm -hmm. the, the way they are right now. Uh, and yes, I mean, you know, as a father, you make the mistake of trying to force your kids to be what you want to be or what you want it to be. That's a big problem. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to correct that right now because the kids are out of school right now. So uh, yesterday I went with Xavier, who has um, this issue, you know, he's very hyper. He is 10 years old right now. And, and I was like, what, what do we do, right? My wife was like, take him to mechanics, you know, take him to, to learn something regarding that involves mechanics. But then we saw um, uh, an ad about a school of, of Taekwondo, you know, karate. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I took him there. He was so excited. <laughs> he was like... It was very funny, but he made it and he, we will continue with that. And the other two, the other two are more artistical. So I took him to, I took them to Senar for, uh, to study arts and painting and drawing, you know, they like those things. So let's see how it goes. I'm not pushing them. I'm letting them be what they want to be. And Xavier wanted to play the guitar as me. So I, I thought, why should I spend money if my son has something that I had, which is creativity, and he knows how to mimic things. Then I put him some YouTube videos on, on the TV, and I gave him the guitar, and he started doing the, th the things. He started mimicking, and he does it good. So I was like, wow, <laughs> he's going to be very smart. He's very smart. So that kind of things. Okay, I have a game for you, so you can all participate on this dynamic. I noticed, I noticed some little lack of pronunciation in this, this phrase that you used a lot. All of you try to use this and you were saying, I want, I wanted to be, or I want to be. So it is, I want it to be. I want it to be. Try it. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a lawyer. Wanted to be. Wanted to be. I don't get it, teacher. Okay. Let's, let's go with the last resource. Breathe. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. There you go. As easy as that. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. I wanted to be. I wanted to be as my father. I wanted to be. That's it. Easy. And the second one, some some of you were trying to say, I wanted to become. It's kind of very similar. I wanted to become. I wanted to study. I wanted to study a very lucrative 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 career i wanted to study the most lucrative career i wanted to be a doctor you know it was very lucrative so i have a, a little dynamic for you i'm going to share my screen we're just missing nine minutes so we're going to use this nine minutes for this little thing here okay get ready okay so i have your names here and then I'll be switching back and forth. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Okay, here, here, I'll be switching back and forth. Here you have some sentences that you must complete. For example, if it says, 
Okay, if it says something that inspired me was, okay, and therefore I. Let me give you an example. Can somebody give me an example with this sentence? Can you complete the empty spaces? Can you? Um, something, something that is, that inspired me was my father, my mother, my grandma. Uh, okay. <laughs> a, teacher, a teacher. Uh, yeah. Uh, something that inspired me was, was a teacher. Um, <laughs> when I was in, is uh, studying in an academy because he was really hyper as you were saying before he was a really good teacher so therefore, what does it mean therefore sorry y por ende, y por tanto. Mm -hmm. and therefore um i was you know uh, <laughs> i was dreaming um uh, being a teacher of becoming a teacher Oh, Excellent. Teacher, yes. You got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's okay. And that's what I'm expecting, guys. Okay. So you just need to fill the gap. If you don't know what it says, just ask. Okay. Just go ahead and ask. I'm sorry. I clicked it. My bad. Give me just a second. Well, let's go with the first one. If I may say, I used to admire. If I may say, I used to admire. So who's going to give us the answer? If I may say, I used to admire. Is it Edwin or Gabriela? Edwin. Okay, Edwin, if I may say, I used to admire. If I may say, I used to admire my father uh because he Good. he was somebody to always i admire <laughs> hey good mm -hmm. that's really good you see guys that's simple just make the sentence use what we have here i'm gonna leave it for a second opportunity for someone else thank you edwin let's go with the next one you know what i forgot to click on this one hold on let's go with the next sentence Empty. Oh no, empty. I I I didn't know how to. Uh -huh. Oh, I should have clicked on that and then wait. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This time we have something that the same as Kenya did before. Something that inspired me was, and therefore I, Wilfredo. Wilfredo Guardado. Tell me, teacher. Okay. It is, it is the same question, I guess. Yeah, Wilfredo, ah, you need okay. to yeah, fill the gaps. Something that inspired me was, and therefore I. Mm, let me see the third thing. And I guess uh, could be finish my career around I, I i remember wait 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 but use the sentence 20. something that inspired me was and yes. therefore i finished my career i don't know yes and let me let me explain i i was inspired about my mom because and when i finished my finishing my career I remember that I I couldn't couldn't finish because I I didn't pay my in the university, but I remember that she told me uh, you uh, you have to finish it because uh, you can uh, you can't como dejar abandonado. You can be mediocre. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I remember that it, it was a, a good, a good. Um, this phrase, this phrase, uh, in this moment, um, I I guess that it was a 
como que me inspiró. Inspire me. So something that yes. inspired me was my mother. Yes. And therefore. And therefore. I, I finished. I, I took another attitude. And then I remember that finishing a, a, a 20. 10 and uh, 2010 yeah on 2010 2010 i remember that i went to university and i paid the last um semester then i start again because i need to approve only one subject oh my god that's good news yes, yes. Yeah. then i i i i tried to to finish it then uh, when 2010 it was finishing mm -hmm. uh, then I, I i finished my my career and then i i, I feel uh, so so happy because i thought that i i couldn't finish but i get that my mom was my inspi inspiration inspiration to okay. finish because always when i was a child she told me, I remember this work. You have to study. You have to study. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Wilfredo. That's great. Welcome. OK, excellent. Remember, guys, you need to finish the, the sentence, complete the gaps. Just fill in the gaps. That's all we're doing. Try to try to do your best. You can do it. Next. Oh, this is easy. How to open a sentence. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. Okay, Anna, sell me. Still related to the topic, right? As a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. But is important or not important the matter, teacher? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I remember what moved me to become a lawyer what moved me to become an accountant as a matter of fact as a matter of fact um, i when i decide when i decided mm -hmm. when yes when i decided um to start my second career when okay as a matter of fact when i decided to study my second career, uh huh. Mm -hmm. It was um, very important, uh, important this decision decision in my life. Excellent, that's it. Great job. <laughs> you see, it's easy, easy. You can do it, guys. Oh, easy, teacher. But these are phrases that I want to hear from you more often, guys in terms of in terms of notice that you need a verb with ing in terms of working in terms of getting in terms of achieving okay in terms of becoming who am i okay nelson nelson use this sentence in terms of Verb with ing. Hmm. I think Nelson is busy right now. Maybe sorry. Okay. sorry, teacher. <laughs> in term, in term of uh, when when I had the, the the younger, I dream in going in the university, but in the pay, but only 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 learn and should make, but the next. I finished in the in the college. In in all time, uh, I I have studied. 
in, in I, I complete my dream, the injury. In in the so in terms of accomplishing my dream, I became an engineer. Repeat, in terms of becoming, no, no, no. In terms of accomplishing my dream. Okay, in terms of accomplishing my dream. Let's perfectionate this, Nelson. In terms. In terms of accomplishing of accomplishing my dream my dream i became an engineer i became an engineer an engineer an engineer an engineer an engineer now yourself in terms of becoming I'm, i lost it guys i'm sorry in case of Achieving my dream, in terms of achieving my dream, I became an engineer. In terms of achieving my dream, I became an engineer. Go on, Nelson. In terms of or I compete. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Focus, focus. In terms of accomplishing my dream. In terms of accomplishing my dream. I became an engineer. I became an engineer. Okay, practice, review the video. Yeah. And that and that's the way you repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. Okay. Let's go with the next sentence. Who's next? It's 9.03 p.m. already. Okay, 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 okay. If I'm not wrong, uh-huh. If I'm not wrong, I used to hate waking up early. If I'm not wrong, I used to hate going to school if i am not wrong i used to hate my dad's career you know it was too difficult my dad's profession my dad's job he didn't have the time so i wanted a job that one that gave me more time to spend with the family okay oh 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 kenya If I'm not wrong, I just do hate um, my father's job when I was a child because he was always working, you know, like, um, how do you, how do you say oficinista? Or alguien que trabaja en oficina de facturas, something like that. He used to work in administration. Okay, he used to work in administration, but it was almost all day. And then after that, he went to another place and was like that, you know, every time. So um, I got tired of that. And a couple of times I told him that that's something that I really hated because he was not, you know, giving me time. But even so, I think I'm a good person, you know, learning and everything. So it's okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, now you understand why. Yeah, he had two jobs, maybe. Yeah, that's difficult. Wow. Okay, good job. Let's go with, oh, I didn't pick one question before selecting the name. Let's see. Who goes next? We're almost done. If I remember, if I remember right, I used to spend time, money, Ada, Ada Patricia. Okay, if I remember right, I used to spend How do you to spend teacher? Okay, how do you, basically si se si recuerdo bien, solía gastar, pero en este término puede ser tiempo, ese spend puede ser traducido como pasar. I used to spend time watching the news so i wanted to be um a news presenter i wanted to be um the weather girl you know i wanted to be the weather <laughs> i don't know um, uh -huh. uh, I, if i remember right i used to spend uh, why shy when you were speaking uh -huh, but you used to um, spend what time money what time must watch TV? Watching TV, okay. Yes. How did this influence on your decision of becoming something? Uh, what's your decision? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. I used to watch a lot of, I used to spend a lot of time watching um, Low and Order. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> In my case, I like <laughs> much better novelas. Okay, soap operas? Yes. So you wanted to be an actress? <laughs> yes. Okay. Great job. <laughs> Fernando Colunga's girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, come on, remember. <laughs> and all, all the girls are laughing. They remember Fernando Colunga. Thank you, Adita. Thank you. I was in love with Fernanda. Mañana es para siempre. I was, she was my crush. Okay, let's see. My dreams got, my dream got shattered because of, my dream was broken into pieces because of, uh oh, my dreams got shattered because of other decisions I made. I became a father, right? Because of, losing my job because of the society's fault, the government fault, whatever you want to say, just complete the sentence. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Is it Rosalena or Carla? Rosalena. It's a difficult teacher. Oh, what? oh okay. <laughs> my dream got shattered. Shattered? Shattered. Mm -hmm. Shattered because because um, in that in that years in that year when I want to study at the university, I wanted I want to I want to study at the university, and I I reflect I was reflection reflection. Mm, reflection. I was thoughtful. Thoughtful. Okay. Yeah. I was thoughtful talking to myself and I say to me um to myself, to myself um I need to work I need money I need to help my house and maybe uh, my father can afford my career couldn't couldn't afford my career because uh, he he only works and that's the reason because I, I, I quit. You I quit. quit. Yeah, I quit uh, to the university in the years, mm. and I decided to study compu computation. Computer systems. Computer systems, yes. Mm -hmm. Computer system. I studied computer system systems for two years, and in that way, I start to, I start to work. I you start started. Work, you started. I, you started to work. Yeah, uh -huh. I start to work, and the time pass, and I get into university again, but with another career, business administration. Nothing. Nothing to. Nothing to do with. Nothing to do with. Biologist. Dream. Biologist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, it's never too late. To remember yes. the video. I was talking with Susana <laughs> about it. Why yeah. not, maybe? <laughs> okay, who knows? Great job. Yes. <laughs> okay, time changes. Okay, oh my God, we're running out of time. Let's see. This is an unusual statement. I could infer that what made me take this decision I could infer that what made me take this decision, this is very rebuscado, okay? It's very unusual, but you can say that. I could infer that what made me take this decision was watching my uncle on his presentations. Um, I could infer that what made me take this decision is that I love helping others. Is that, is that, that will be the next conjunction after this decision. I could infer that what made me take this decision was that, was that a family member was a doctor as well and so on. Okay. Hmm. Carlita or yeah. 
Okay. Um, uh, my uh, my first dream wa was <laughs> what? <laughs> I could infer that what made me take this decision. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you, Mr. Teacher. <laughs> okay. My fear. My first dream when when I was your uh, was can be a doctor, but I could infer that what made me take or change this decision was uh, that I can to Wouldn't pay. I couldn't, yes, I couldn't to pay to pay the university because the medicine is a expensive career. Because medicine is is an expensive career. Yeah. Okay, just remember, I couldn't pay. You don't need I the two. Couldn't. Right, I, I couldn't pay, I couldn't go. I couldn't, I couldn't afford, that's a, a better verb. I couldn't afford the university because medicine is a very expensive career. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Awesome. Take it easy on me. It's very easy to see. Thank you, Kakita. Okay. That's a beautiful song. Take it easy on me. And Gloria, Gabriela. Oh, 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 oh. Gloria, okay. <laughs> Let's go with the last one. We're only missing three. Sorry about the blank spaces. If I may say, if I may say, I used to admire. Okay, if I may say, I used to admire. I don't know. <laughs> what did you used to admire? Why did you become what you are, or, or what did you? Why did you want it to be what you wanted to be? Did okay. you admire someone? If may, if um, I may say, I. I used uh, to admire uh, my father, but um, he he is he no, he was uh, a man very uh, a very, very strong. He was a very, very strong, strong man. Very strong and hmm. very. Um, worker, hard working, worker, mm -hmm. uh, um, and I and he uh, learn learn me. He taught me. He taught me. Uh, teach taught uh, me. He taught me. Okay. Um, to go out uh, out for me for me uh, me misma. From by myself, by myself, uh, by myself. Okay. So how to how to depend on yourself? He taught you how to depend on yourself. Yes. Yes. How yes. how to be an independent woman? He taught yes, me I, how to be an independent woman. I I independent woman. Um. And I I want I successful. Wonder, um, uh, how would it be? Oh. I consider myself. Repeat. I consider myself. I consider myself a successful woman. A successful woman. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Good yes. job. Yes. Yes. I used to admire. Okay, guys. And the last two were. Let me see. I wanted to be, which is what we were correcting. What triggered this desire of becoming? I like this sentence. What triggered, let me see if I can just put it on the screen. What triggered this desire of becoming means lo que encendió este deseo. Lo que, how could you translate this? I'm sorry, what triggered, lo que trajo, lo que encendió este deseo de volverme tal cosa, there is. What triggered this desire of becoming a doctor in me, in me, 
that's another thing you have to say. What triggered this desire of becoming a teacher in me was because was seen was seen my uncle teaching and I felt inspired. There are many ways of saying things. Remember, it's not just one straight way. There are many ways of saying things, okay? Shutter dreams, shutter dreams, the 70s. Okay, let's go with the attendance really quick for the second time, and then we're gonna do another activity in groups. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adrián Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. I'm here. Thank you. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She's there. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra is not here again. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Great. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Yeah. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Yeah. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. Um, if you remember yesterday, we had some sort of, we started an activity, right? Talking about things that are unethical at work and how to resolve these problems. So how do you promote ethics at work? And really quick, I only have two minutes to let you know this. A way of promoting ethics at work from my perspective is showing your values, okay? Just giving the example, that's all. Do as you want people to treat you, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. Again, treat others the way you want to be treated. If you are respectful, then you're going to receive respect in exchange, most likely. Okay. Um, say, say what you don't like. This is very important because if you don't talk, if you let others disrespect you or treat you in ways that you don't like, but you don't say anything, nobody's going to know, right? They will continue doing the same thing. You're not going to like it. Okay. So, and at work, don't take advantage um, of your job. There is something happening right now in call centers and is that everybody's working from home. Well, maybe not just call centers, but a lot of people is working from home. I don't know if, if you're working from home and they have a, this special program where you log in, you know, you enter your credentials and you log into the system and that system counts the time. It takes, um, it, it records how much time you're working in reality. If you do, sometimes, and this is happening in the call center, some agents disconnect the internet or they turn off the light switch, you know, of their houses. And they go like, oh, I have no electricity. Okay, and they lie. Is that ethical? No, right? That's not ethical. Now let's use this example because this is a real example. And I need you to tell me how can I correct this problem from the perspective of an employee? Number one, think as an employee, you're doing this. How can you correct that problem? Whether it is true or not, how can you correct it? As an employer, as an employer, how can you correct this behavior from an employee? What would you do to correct this problem 
from these agents pretending to run, pretending to have an outage. How do you say apagón? There you go, outage. You don't need to say, you don't need to say I have an electrical outage. No, 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 it's just an outage. An outage is understood as an apagón, okay? You got it? So how can you disrupt these people from pretending and from stopping this unethical behavior, right? I'm all ears. I'm all ears. How, what will you do as an employee and as an employer? Perfect. Now say it. <laughs> Stop thinking, just say it. Tan chiquito ayer le tapó la boca para que no hablara que mañana. He was like, oh. In our country, teacher, mm -hmm. is, is, is common or oh, is normal that the specific day is possible we don't have the energy el electricity repeat with house. me in our country it is common in our country it is common to experience to experience yes outages experience. outages yes outages, outages. but <laughs> my point is Mm -hmm. The first time for me is credible, but the recurrence, the same is, is not mm. okay. Mm -hmm. It's possible that the, the method or model to work in homework is not for- To work, to work from home? It's, it's not the good uh, way. Or the the better or the, the best the best option option for that employee. So, for, as an employer, what would you do, Anderson? In in the player employer, uh, only the first time. Okay, I accept. I accept the, but in the future is is recurrent if it be, if it becomes a recurrent mm -hmm. if, if if it becomes recurrent if it be recurrent it's not acceptable it's not acceptable so you will fire this person no not fire but it's possible the other option okay to, to work from the office Toward the office, or um, it's mm -hmm. important to talk with him or her, and the okay, uh, uh, what, um, what, uh, how do you say? What is your suggest suggestion? What do you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you suggest mm -hmm. about that? Because in in that moment, it's important to the comment. The, comp the compromise. The compromise from the, the employee. Compromise when the empl employee gives the suggest. The suggestion. Okay. In my opinion. Totally, my opinion. totally. I agree with you. Okay. So <laughs> communication is important. Finding a solution is a two-way road. Finding a solution is a two-way road, right? It's a communication thing. Okay. Someone else. It is possible, teacher. I'm sorry, teacher, only the, the last point. It's possible mm -hmm. that the employee requires the, the time off. Requires time off? What do you requires mean? Requires the day off. But it's oh, possible oh, when, when there's the, no electricity. the employee feel, no, feel, uh, how do you say, very tired? Oh, uh, 
it's yeah. possible and maybe mm -hmm. require the other uh, the other decision for mm -hmm. example uh, do you need to take your vacation in that moment yeah if or someone is very stressed specific uh, time for yourself uh, Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. Thank yeah, in, in, in our in the call center industry, we have something called uh, LOA, leave of absence. It's a day, they pay you a day every three months or every six months. You can take one day off, paid, a paid day off. Just to relax. Yeah. Okay, somebody else, what will you do as an employee and what would you do as an employer? Well, I would say that that happened to me, um, but I was having um, issues with my connection all the time. I was like calling um, the company, Claro, like four times in a week and was the same thing. It was or the Internet was slow or it wasn't working, you know, like disconnected every time and was disconnecting all my tools. So um, I remember like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, my supervisor told me, uh, you know what, what was happening, even if I was showing pictures, things like that, it was like, you know, you know, to, to show me something else is in, as in Anastalmi mentioned before, uh, he told me if this continues like this and you don't find a solution for this, um, you will need to come to, you know, to work on site and I was like okay right because I was showing pictures like showing videos in real time and all that and, and as well after that because he, he told me um, every time you call Claro you need to provide me um, how do you call, how do you call this like a reference number right a ticket uh, of it's your case mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right something like that so I was always providing that to my supervisor after that happened um, then after four weeks around, like the last week, you remember that I mm -hmm. wasn't mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. um, that happened. Claro came at 4 p.m. They disconnect the wiring, everything. And the next day that I was having, how do you say, the Alicia? Oh, I was having a day off. Uh -huh. Day off. Um, uh, they, they came again and they fixed it. And after that, I didn't have you know, like more issues than that, but I so it was, my it was solved. So. They solved the problem. Yeah, <laughs> they solved <laughs> it. But it was it was bad for me because it, it seems like I was the one that I was, you know, having that issues, and it, so I was showing everything <laughs> I can. <laughs> you know, that happened to me last Christmas. The same thing on December, but I, I just moved to the side for a while, and I bought a I bought a power supply. I bought a power supply because my problem was that electricity was. There were shortages. It wasn't an outage. It wasn't an apagón. It was small shortages of 10 seconds, you know, and then my router used to go off. I had to wait for the router to come back and that created a problem. So yeah, in our jobs, uh, and Kenny and me, uh, we in our jobs, we have a, a process, you know, if we don't improve, then we're moved to the site and that's it. That's the way. Okay, and yes, part of the process is if after if after three minutes of disconnection, you must call the provider, whether it is Skies, Del Sur, Tigo, Claro, right? You have to contact them so they can issue a ticket and you can prove your employer. But in the end, being realistic is not something ethical from whatever perspective for an employer, time means money. Simple as that. So it is unethical, even if it is not your fault. You know, it's not your fault. It's okay, but it's the employer needs the money. So let's go together and we're going to work right now the same way we did yesterday. But please have a conversation. Prepare a role play. Prepare a role play. You are part of the management team and I need you to provide. Uh, tips, tips on how to promote ethics at work. 
tips on how to promote ethics at work, which is the main topic of this class, okay? You will have 10 minutes to practice with your classmates and then we come back and you pretend to have a conversation on how to promote ethics at work. Questions? No questions? Okay, good. So let's do it. You have 10 minutes, come on, hurry up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay. Chicas, me voy a alejar un minuto del escritorio, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, what do you think we can do to promote um, ethics at, at work? Or, for example, um, what do you do in your workplace? Maybe it can work. Okay, I, number one for... For example, define the orga organization, mm -hmm. mission, values. Okay. So I just said it, it's, or like, uh, sorry, may you repeat that? Just ah, to... okay. Uh, uh, def defini definir, define the, orga the organization, mission, and values. Okay, yeah. Define the organization mission and values or values. Okay. Um I think something to promote ethics at work. Mm. I'm not for sure. Maybe in my in my workplace. Um I don't know. It will be always like um, having like conversations, for example, every week. Um, in a case in a call center, we have like, uh, it is called coaching. So it's like the supervisor takes the time to talk to you personally and provide you like kind of feedback, what we can do, what will happen, how can we improve and all those kind of things. Um, I think like having, uh, you know, um, a meeting every week or something like that with all the employees um, will improve the, the way that they feel in the company and promote different, like, or promote the, the education, something like that. Yeah, it's almost the same, like, you know, organizing missions and values, yeah. In the call center, um, uh, there is not um, not much friendship. No. Mm, I think that there is, but mm, well, in my case, I, I I don't like to um be talking to to people because sometimes you can, for example, if you are friend of a person that is having um a what do you call this like um is having problems with ethics or something like that then 
in call centers, it's kind of hard because they will think that you are, you know, like related with that person. You are probably doing the same. So they can fire you and fire your friend as well. So, uh, but I think it's a good like environment, you know, if you have, if you are, um, if you are respectful with others or yeah I think so yeah if you have if you're always um respectful with other people everything is fine so you are you know promoting uh, good ethics in your workplace I think um, I think so that uh, it, um, como le diga, que siempre están aislados, ¿cómo se dice? Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No sé, no sé si es cierto o no. Mm, not all the time. Uh, I think it depends, you know. Mm, <laughs> for example, in my. In my... <laughs> It's recognized. Mm -hmm. Correct. Recognize a good employee or Okay. Activity. The partner. It's very important that promotion of values. Um, mm -hmm. For example, uh, the company um, can can send email uh, all days uh, for for promote the values. And the email is very easy. The the email about the communication. The communication. Uh -huh. I the remember you must uh -huh, be integrity in all in your activities. Mm -hmm. The message, the, the short message message. Yes, yes, uh-huh. The mention is is attractive or creative um for um in every day you receive an uh, email with the message. Mm, yes, but no the values and another ah, image, okay. uh, uh -huh, another emails um uh, uh, when human uh, uh, when, human resources. Yes, and and uh, about a specific um when and uh, when when the pandemic when ah, yeah. when, the, when we was pandemic all day uh, emails and uh, I I receive email that pan, uh, virus COVID-19 cuidémonos y todo. Yeah, about the protocol mm -hmm. the, the security <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. yes protocol mm -hmm. yeah yeah but this mm -hmm. is a good point the, the descent a short message is very practice uh, for implement in our company or oh, for intranet yes yes nelson intranet is a good <laughs> way yes <laughs> another one um could be uh Oh my god. Um 
make uh, trainings uh, about to um, let me uh, trainings or workshop to promote uh, ethics mm -hmm. uh, and explain what is the ethics uh, different ways to to practice them maybe yeah uh, but I think the, the best way to prom promote it uh, at the workplace edit ethics is to be very <clears throat> specific and you know uh, carefully at the time you recruit creating people and mm. uh, I'm sorry, recruiting employees, the ones who representing the company. Yeah. And uh, maybe it uh, another did uh, create uh, uh, a team where you can go and you know what we'll talk and talk about uh i don't know it's it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get tips in how to promote more ethics at work but sometimes uh how do you say um when you go to a meeting and they give and they give you and they gave you an advance. Oh my god. To train to train your employees, right? Mm -hmm. How to train yeah. the employees. But well, I don't know if you have more tips. <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. maybe uh, re reinforce the benefits of the company. It another one. Another tip it could be uh, reward your employees when they're doing your job well. Mm -hmm. Like a reward, it makes it makes employees feel happy, you know. It happens to me if I receive a a reward or because I'm doing uh I'm doing a, a great job. I'm doing everything good. I'm at my workplace. I will feel grateful, you know. And mm -hmm. probably like this, I will do better my job. Mm -hmm. uh, you will feel more um, engagement, maybe, with the company. Exactly. Engagement. You will feel yeah. more engaged. Engaged. Mm -hmm. With the company. With the company. Um, okay. Um, let me see. What was the first thing that you say, Gabriela? Uh, you say two of the first that we start the conversation that I remember. Um. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, arrange, remember too? <laughs> um, for me tomorrow, I uh, uh, I went to oh. work. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Another another. Uh, oh my God! Another for uh, another uh, tips to promote the. <laughs> The ethics of the workplace is like when the when the leader promote uh, the responsibility. 
if is if he if he or she uh, promotes that he he has responsibility about something, I think that the employees uh, Okay, let's just wait for your classmates and I will choose just two or three of you to do the conversation that you prepared, that you practiced, I hope. Okay, I think we're all back. Yep. So uh, let's go with group number three, Edwin, Gabriel, and Wilfredo. So remember, it's a conversation, a role play. It's like, hey, what's up? Uh, let me see who was there. Again, uh, group number three, Edwin, Gabriel, and Wilfredo. So Edwin goes like, hey, Wilfredo, what's up? Hey, did you hear about the new policy of not talking to other women? Not talking to other women. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, they say we shouldn't talk to other women. Oh, you mean we don't have to harass other women? You got it? It's just yeah. a conversation about an ethical problem. Okay, one, two, three, action. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Uh, do, you, do you hear about the training tomorrow? The, the we're going to discuss about our salary. Yes, I I heard about it, and I think it's important because uh, all the employees, uh, we are not agree with your currently salary. Yeah, I know because I'm very disagree about this. I'm only uh, I almost get almost three hundred dollars, and I would like to get five hundred. In the meeting, I will say that there is not edit ethic to employees win three hundred when we are doing, and we are really really engaged to the company. And do you hear about they're going to discuss uh, the if you do your your job well, we are going to receive a reward. Yes, uh, and I think it's important because uh, this uh, must be um, a motor, a motor uh, to do our job in in the best way. You know, we need to be motivated to um, de develop your activities yes as an employee i feel very grateful to the boss is going to do this meeting and we will attend all, all this aspect and we will discuss uh, the ethics uh, in the workplace thank you that's it good job okay let's talk about your areas of improvement here we are not agree we disagree. We disagree with da, 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 da. it is not ethic. And you have different options here. It's unethical. It's unethical. It's not. 
ethical. It's not ethical, okay? It's not ethical, it's unethical. We need to be motivated. We need to be motivated. We need to be motivated. Excellent. Great job. Sure. Yeah, Wilfredo. Um, I, I, I agree with, with them, but it is, it is so common when the employees are disagree with the salary because sometimes they 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 need and they get that they to see more about the same activity. But sometimes um I guess the company it is it is so necessary to give some training about Eric's salary that uh, it is it is hard for the people uh, to survive with a salad yes yeah and yes. sometimes to understand as well mm. for example if you're paying two painters if you have two painters and one of them makes more money because he has more time working for the company and the other one doesn't you know there people is never happy people is never happy with the salary that's for <laughs> yes. sure it's okay but yeah yeah so so what was the main issue here wilfredo what was the topic the ethical problem here yes what was the ethical problem here, guys? Ah, the ethical problem, I guess, that um, some company mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't have a good polit polit salary policies. Uh, Politica. Policies, yes, yes. Salary, yes. Policies. salary policies to give to the salary policies to give to to your employees then the people or, or all employees they guess that need to receive uh, a lot of money but gotcha. if they don't have if, uh, yeah did you got we got it we got it thank you very much okay and basically they solve it by training employees right on new Oh, new policies, increasing their salary, a new bonus for performance. That's good. Okay, let me see who is next here. Let's go with group number four. Why? Carla, Rosalena, and Walter. All yours. Okay. Hello, Rosalena. Hello, Walter. Okay. Why mutual respect is important for employees? Oh, my God. Um, I think that respect, mutual respect from employees is important because um, you feel more comfortable you feel more comfortable doing your activities sometimes uh, there are many uh, companies that uh, or many many managers that can can respect uh, the employees and i listened to i listened to to my friends in another companies that they they have uh, uh, un respect, un respect to, un respectful, un respectful leaders, and they can feel uh, comfortable. They can, they can work better. And I think that when you, when you be, when you can be uh, respectful, uh, you can do. The things better. Okay. Car Carla, what do you think about uh, uh, the loyalty? Uh, loyalty is important uh, between uh, partners and the company? Yes, and the loyalty is an uh, important part. Uh, as employee for a company, a 
apply the uh, applying the values and principles in the workplace is an obligation of ourselves uh, not not only um, loyalty if to comply with a schedule for example is a is a for the you show the loyalty at your company uh, not be absent without reason or um, submit assignment on time accept responsibility when uh, you uh, do a mistake and um, th this this um, behavior is part of loyalty for your company Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay. okay, this is what I was able to get. Let's see, why mutual respect from employees is important? Why is mutual respect between employees so important? Compare the difference on the structure. Why is mutual respect between employees so important? Okay. Okay, uh, when you can be so careful, when you are, I'm sorry, when you can be so respectful, when you are respectful, you can, da, 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 following the idea, Rosalina's idea, is an obligation of ourselves, is an obligation for ourselves, is an obligation from ourselves, for ourselves, as an employee is, you know, to behave, da, 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 to be loyal. When you do a mistake, when you do wrong, when you do a mistake, when you do wrong, when you do wrong, you have to ac accept your mistake and so on. Great job. Bien, super rápido. ¿Cómo yo corrijo estas pequeñas áreas de oportunidad que aún tengo a este nivel? Hablándome a mí mismo todos los días. No voy a dejar de hacerles hincapié en eso. Por favor, háblense ustedes mismos, escúchense, grábense, critíquense. Eso es muy importante y no solamente en el inglés, sino en todo lo que hago en la vida. ¿Por qué estoy haciendo esto? ¿Qué sentido tiene que esté haciendo esto ahorita? Mejor debería estar haciendo X cosa que he dicho que voy a hacer hace días. Tengo ese libro ahí tirado y no lo termino de leer. Hey. Try to find the way, the best productive way of using your time. Ese es un buen consejo que, que daba Don Bosco, siempre estar ocupado. So, do it. Okay. Tonight I'm staying with Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Me quedo 10 minutos con niña Wendy. Good night, everybody. Que descansen. Pasen un feliz fin de semana. Y si toman, no manejen, por favor. No es broma, es en serio. Good night. Ana, Ada, Patricia Linares, Caldames. Present, teacher. Adrián Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chávez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Good night. Good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Good night. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Was here. Not anymore. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Ramendez Ramirez, Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Susi got disconnected. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. Hello. Present teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nos quedamos diez minutitos, porfis. Okay, teacher. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Hey, if you're going to watch fast tomorrow, just be careful, okay? Take care. <laughs> and right, present teacher, I, I prefer to, to watch the, the match from home. At home. Yeah, la, do a, do la a barbecue. Cami la camisa del jucor, yes. right? No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, Bye, uh, my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be champion. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it will. Okay, good night. <laughs> good night, good night. Bye. Happy you weekend. Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Take Bye. care. Happy Take weekend. care and rest a lot. Enjoy your weekend. Same to you. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Patricia. Hello, teacher. In this moment, I uh, come to the my I don't, I don't know this day. Voy a acostar, estoy acostando a mi hijo, but I stay here. <laughs> um, putting my baby to sleep. Yes. ¿Te piensas por favor? Ah, but he's he's not a baby. Yeah. <laughs> For me, yes, teacher. He's oh. not a baby. You're sending him to to brush his teeth and put his pajama. <laughs> yes, but uh, I can't uh, stay with he him. With her, him. Him. Her. Him. him. What is it? Uh, in all days and only time I can um, spend with him. Stay, uh -huh, stay with him is in the night. That's and nice. I, I have a, a two hours in my class and mm -hmm. my time is little bit with, with him. And, and I all night, I try to, the, I don't know what they say, uh, dormirlo, a prepararlo para dormir. Okay, always, you always put him to bed. I uh -huh, put him to bed. Uh -huh, put him, put him I, to bed. I, I read the a the tale. Uh, let, uh, a tale, and I, uh, I, 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 I try. <laughs> you know, I will suggest you something that I do from time to time. Try to create a story. Just yeah. ask him. For example, ask him. Okay, give me a character. Give me a character. Okay, give me a place, a place. Because I have done this with my kids and I have three. So I go like, okay, give me a character. So one said a monster, the other one said a ghost. Okay, oh. and, and the other one said mocos. So I have a monster, <laughs> a ghost, a ghost, a monster, a, a monster, which is a ghost made of mocos. So I, mocos. So I go like, Okay, give me a place, uh, the West, you know, El Oeste. So I'm like, uh, okay, okay, a hotel in the West. Okay, so there was this monster ghost made of mochas who used to scare everybody. You try to make a tale with uh, the three characters, the different, oh. With all, oh, that's the point that the kids, the kids give you the information and you fabricate, you, you elaborate the tale with your imagination, with your creativity. This helps the kid, you know, to be creative too, to become creative. It's very useful, it's very useful. And they love, they love when you go crazy. We, we invented a, a character with my kids. You, uh, you, have, you have three child. Three children, yeah. Two, two boys and a girl. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, but... my son, my son, uh, uh, is, have, is? Uh, is, is uh, six years old. My son is six years old. Well, man, you have to take advantage of that. He's six years old. So you have to, you have to make him creative. Right now is your opportunity. Yes, uh, all night my husband and I try every, to, every night. Every night my husband and I I try to to uh, accompany uh, him. Uh -huh. accompany him in the in the night for uh, at night. At night the to go to, to bed. The, the, to go to bed. <laughs> repeat, repeat to go to bed. To go to bed, uh, my son. And my, for example, my husband all every night uh, sing a song for, for, sing, for him. Sing, sing song to, for to him. For him, uh, to him, uh, the rainbow of I don't know what do you say. 
Somewhere over the rainbow, maybe. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yes. All night, yeah. my husband sing, sing the song for my, my child. And, and, he, and he waits for, for him. For him. And, and is, it, is it in English? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's another one by Louis Armstrong. Um, dream a little dream. Ah, that's I another remember. one uh, from from Louis Armstrong, so he can put him to sleep. Dream a little dream of me. Dream. Oh, really? I I I um, never say I never hear. Never heard that song before. Yes, uh, my 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 husband uh, sing uh, singing no mm -hmm. song sings sings uh, the after the. My 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 child uh, born was born. In, was born yes. Uh, all night. Uh, he, every night. <laughs> sorry, teacher. Every night he played the YouTube <laughs> and, and, and I don't know how do you say. Le ponía la canción cuando estaba embarazada. When he was in my belly. When he was in my belly, he uh -huh. used to play this song for him. In mm. in this in in my belly. Yes, in my belly, and he knew uh, it's a I don't know it's tradition. No, in the correct tradition. Uh, yeah, tradition. it's a yes. custom. It's a tradition he has yes. every night. Every night, yes. My husband is the superhero. <laughs> He goes all wow. night. Every night, yes. every night. Hey, every but night. do you know what? Uh, there is something called resilience. Do you know, do you know about it? Resilience for him, my nature? Yeah, resilience. And this is a common thing. Uh, you can find books on the internet, resilience. Mm -hmm. Resilience. Um, Res Resiliencia. Uh-huh. I think it's very important. Uh, I didn't do it with my kids. I, I was just as your husband, the same thing. But again, I used to create the tales. I used to sing. Solía cantar una canción que se llama El Osito Carpintero. A los tres, así, dos de un lado y, y o la bebé en mi estómago y los otros dos uno cada lado. Entonces, El Osito Carpintero que quería hacer una mesa, se puso a cortar las partes, y cuando decía cortar con el serrucho, a los dos les hacían la frente así, o a la niña, como que se fuera un serrucho, ¿eh? y ahí decía, tenía que lijar las piezas y a los dos en la cara, así, así en arriba. Voy a buscarla. Un rela no, me lo inventaba, bueno. Se lo inventaba. De allí tenía que pegar las piezas el osito, y o sea, y así, y ahí el osito quería probar la silla, se sentó, ¿y qué pasó? Les decía, y decían ellos, se le arrancaron todos los pelos delante, porque eso estaba seco todavía. Entonces, sí, ayuda mucho a la autoestima de ellos, a, a la confianza, a muchas cosas. Creo creatividad. Que ese pero, pero, tiene que ser resiliente al final, es bien importante esa onda, yo desearía haber leído ese libro antes, hay un librito que se llama Resilience, y es, es pues una autoayuda al final para los niños. Tenía un compañero en un call center, Félix se llama, y, y él siempre andaba, imagínense un hombre de unos 33 años, siempre con, con pullover, ¿no? no sé cómo le llaman acá, sin, sin mangas, como un suéter sin mangas. Ajá. ¿ya? Y sobre, sobre la camisa de vestir con ese pullover. Como un chaleco. Ajá, como un chaleco, cabal. Y siempre andaba vestido así toda la vida. Hasta que me contó su historia. A él lo adoptaron. No, a él lo tuvieron sus papás. La mamá tenía casi 50 años cuando él nació. Y el papá igual, 56. Entonces, desde que nació, él, a los tres años le enseñaron que ya tenía que hacer todo él solo. O sea, tres años. Yo me quedaba aquí abierto. O sea, vestirse solo, comer solo, hacer todo solo. Murió el papá. Él no sintió que... Fue ese gran impacto, sí le dolió, pero una persona súper independiente y él feliz. La verdad de que nosotros, como solo tenemos uno, entonces nos, nos, nos queda como ese espacio de, de educarnos 
para guiarlo un poquito. No, hombre, pero es que en el primer es el que uno se pasea. <risa> Piense de que tal vez me ayuda mi carrera, digo yo. <risa> es psicología, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, así como, él es muy independiente a pesar de seis años, pero yo trato de que mi esposo, él lo, lo manda y se cambia, se peina, se, casi que se baña solo. Pero yo trato de, le digo yo a, a mi esposo que, yo trato de dedicarle por lo menos este momento de ayudarle a vestirse, que buscar la pijama, porque es como, imagínese, yo vengo a las cinco y media, casi a las seis. A las ocho tengo clases y termino a las diez. Entonces yo estoy como dos horas con él nada más en el día. Entonces uh -huh. digo yo, aunque sea eso, sentarme con él cuando está comiendo a veces. No Muy siempre importante. lo hago. Hay que comprar una lamparita también para dejarse la encendida. Para sí, que él... entonces... Vea, la manera de estar solito, pues, y poco a poco, bueno, al final los hijos se entienden. Bueno, uno sí. llega a entender. Sí, sí, la verdad. Es que yo creo que la culpabilidad que uno siente es la que no lo deja, no es tanto lo, lo, ey, la necesidad de ellos, no que es nosotros mismos. Como, ¿eh? Más que todo el primero, so, don't sí. worry. Ok, I'll see you on Monday, que disfrute del bebé. Muchas gracias, teacher, por, Good night. por escucharme. Yeah, we're here for you. Good night. Good night. ¿Cómo se llama?